Now we've got the calendar control working for the display date. I want to add just to something helped out the user here on the date added. When they add a new newsletter, add a new event, I, I want this to just be set to the current date by default. So to do this, it's a little bit tricky um, just because, well, we'll show you. Let's just go through the process here. So right now that date added, if I'm going to add news, is in a bound field. And I can't really get at this from the VB code. I can, but it's it's really hard. So once again, what I'm going to do is switch over here and switch to, or switch that thing to a template field. So I'll go to date added, convert this field to a template field, say OK, go to the source. And then I want to find that field. And again, it's the insert item template in this case for date added and then I'm going to change the name of this text box to txt date added rather than text box one just helps me keep track of it okay so you'd think I would be able to for my VB code you think I'd be able to come in here and say something like on page load um, set that text box, the contents of that text box, to the current date. And we can almost do that. The problem is uh, we don't, we can't really see that text box because it's wrapped inside of the details view. So let's just show you. If I say txt date added equals, oh, dot text equals hello world. It's going to come back and say, can't find this. Can't find this text box. Um, so, again, we can't get at it directly, but there is a way to get at it. And to do this, we can go grab some code. I just found some out on the internet. So, we're going to do something like this. First, we'll uh, make a new text box. It's kind of a little bit of a long way around, but we'll say dim um, txt date added temp as a text box. And then we will set that. Uh, we're going to do this find control. Oh, we have it there. Um, so then we can say t t date at a temp equals. Details view was called details view one. Details view one dot find control. And then here's where we put in uh, txt date added. Okay, so now we have this temp box that's pointing to the, we use this find control to find this guy inside details view one. So now anything we do to this temp box will also happen to this box. Wants to sixty date added temp. I think that should work. Yeah, there, there goes there goes away. So we'll first we'll stick hello world in there, and then we'll. Uh, Go back and stick the date in. So let's go back and look here. Okay, so there, you see it says hello world. So again, the you know the tricky part of this is um, finding that control, making a temp temporary text box, and then using this. This is the name, the ID of my details view, details view one. Use this find control method and then put in the name of the text box you really want to modify and we set that then our temporary text box to that one and now we can say um, there's a date method isn't there we might have to do two string let's try this um, 
Let's see if this works. I'm not quite sure about some of my date conversion things here, but save this and try this. Okay, so it sticks it in there. We could format that um, to get rid of this. Um, I'll go look that up and maybe we'll do that in the next video. But I think that's enough for now. So again, uh, you know, the tricky part to this was making that uh, our date added, make, converting that from a bound field to a template field, and then coming in here and doing this little bit of code to do this. And like I said, we'll come back and do the format on this string to uh, get rid of the timestamp on there, just to have the month and date. Um, okay, so that's it.